Students selected to be inducted into the Elyria High School chapter of the National Honor Society have demonstrated the four pillars of NHS, character, scholarship, leadership, and service. New members have all maintained a minimum cumulative grade point average of 3.3 or higher, all while being involved in a variety of extracurricular activities at Elyria High. These students have been recognized by their teachers, coaches, and advisors as individuals who consistently demonstrate character, leadership, and service both in and out of the classroom. Good evening. My name is McKenna Barkley and I'm the National Honor Society President. I would like to welcome you all to the 2020 NHS induction ceremony. I am honored to speak for such an esteemed tradition in which we commend our new inductees. The inductees of today's ceremony are students who exhibit a distinct passion to change the world. Among the students being honored today, you will find athletes, club presidents, and employees, students who show a great perseverance to go above and beyond. Michael Josephson once stated that people of character do the right thing even if nobody else does, not because they think it will change the world, but because they refuse to be changed by the world. I hope that every individual here today feels great pride in knowing the hard work that you have put in to make a change has already paid off. The Elyria High School National Honor Society dates back to 1926. The current members have alone collectively logged in excess of 2,000 hours of community service, all while doing so have maintained the necessary criteria of an NHS member. Membership into the Elyria High School National Honor Society is earned by effectively demonstrating the qualities of character, scholarship, service, and leadership. These qualities will now be reviewed for the candidates. Cadence Downey will discuss the meaning of everyday character and scholarship as defined by NHS. I like the candle of character. Everyday character is valuing diverse cultures and building relationships that not only reflect love of self, but also concern for others. There are endless attributes to good character. Perseverance, respect, integrity, honesty, sacrifice, the list goes on. Good and noble character is a high calling. Oftentimes, we don't see character unless there is a public display of self-sacrifice or more often a very public mistake. Everyday character is not about praiseworthy or blameworthy behavior, but the personal commitment to ethical and compassionate decision-making that affects oneself and others. I light the candle of scholarship. Everyday scholarship is a commitment to learning and growing on an educational path. It means making the most of the educational opportunities provided and seeking out learning, not only in school or similar settings, but also personally. Everyday scholarship doesn't require a minimum GPA, but it does require effort. More importantly, it stems from a desire to contribute to this world in a positive way by building on one's own knowledge, skills, and talent through different experiences. Charlie Woolbright will review the pillars of service and leadership. I light the candle of service. Everyday service is seeking out and engaging in meaningful service, not simply doing acts of service to fulfill a school, district, or program requirement, or to collect hours. As Honor Society students, many young teens and young adults at local chapters are required to meet minimum service participation requirements. I light the candle of leadership. Everyday leadership builds on everyday service. Service and leadership oftentimes looks very similar. Everyday leadership is carrying oneself with dignity and taking ownership and responsibility for one's actions and participation. Being a public speaker, playing quarterback, or having an official title is not required for everyday leadership. Everyday leadership means being an agent, someone who takes action and responsibility of your own pathway. Caden Dargo will explain the significance of the NHS emblem. The emblem consists of a flaming torch on a blue keystone inscribed with the letters C, S, L, and S. These letters represent character, scholarship, leadership, and service, the four qualities a student must possess to be a member of the National Honor Society. These qualities instilled upon our members provide them with the strength to make a great impact on the world. The blue keystone acts as the foundation of that strength, reminding us that we are the building blocks for a greatness that we as a society can achieve. 
The torch represents light, a symbol for knowledge, warmth, hope, and kindness. Qualities that members of the National Honor Society should always strive to have and share with the world. Now that our candidates are familiar with the meaning and purpose of the National Honor Society, it is time to receive them as our members. Due to the unforeseen circumstances, we are holding this year's ceremony virtually. For the same reason, our inductees will be virtually pinned. Malia Abbott, Amna Ali, Jeremy Barley, Kristen Barr, Caitlin Bolton, Rochelle Bridges, Alyssa Bumfus, Taylor Casey Powers, Jessica Chapman, Jillian Collins, Julia Collins, Crystal Crump, Amari Davis, Benjamin Dawson, Serena Deuce, Molly DeVore, Tommy Dillinger, Kenna Downey, Isabel Gallardo Santo Domingo, Amelia Hale, Summer Hastings, Lily Hornsby, Tina James, Matthew Johnson, Celeste Kaplan, Jaden Kaufman, Emily Klemek, Natasha Knowlton, Kyla Coots, Abigail Lascola, Desiron Lewis Shelton, Skylar Manholt, Olivia Martin, Taylor Mel, Abigail Mon. Chase Monshin, Hannah Montgomery, Ava Mugford, Justin Pandy, Brendan Shively, Kennedy Shaver, Parker Scott, Dakota Spradlin, Jasmine Stevens, Lauren Schweitzer, Aubrey Thompson, 
Alexandra Thornsbury, Zaria Todd, Isabella Torres, Emma Shea Toth, Ethan Trampush, Catherine Wood, Olivia Warden, Trista Yance, Michaela Anderson, Garrett Chapin, Sydney Contreras, Emily Dages, Luke Diedrich, Joseph Francisco, Tony McClinton, Max Payton, Yari Ellis Pena Roldan, Kyle Taylor, Francesco Trentadu, Tierra Zinnemann. At this time, all members in the audience who hold National Honor Society membership are invited to stand and renew the National Honor Society pledge with the new members. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I pledge to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands and will maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Congratulations to the new members as well as their parents and guardians. You all make me personally very proud from this point on, you all now represent Elyria High School's National Honor Society chapter. Seniors, I hope your after-school plans consist of growing and starting new beginnings. If you choose, may you successfully continue to promote and excel in leadership, character, service, and academics. Juniors, you will now guide the way in high school for those younger than you. Continue to be leaders and be successful in all of your future endeavors. Today's inductees will receive their National Honor Society pins and certificates as soon as they are safe to distribute. As our state begins to slowly open back up, I hope all of you remain as healthy and safe as possible. Parents and guardians, thank you for raising such amazing students. Fellow friends and classmates, I wish you all the best. Continue to be pioneer strong. Thank you. <laughs>